<laughs> this video of Plum's dog show is awesome. Just think, guys. If we like their dancing and everyone at the dog show like their dancing, people on the Berry web are going to love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> hmm. We love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <sighs> oh, why is this so hard? Hi, Cherry. Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except. No, it's horrible. I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Berry Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to! you on the Berry Web Apple, you can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm going to post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> oh, great queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sard... Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just, this is for the queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! 
You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a very zillion hits and rising. I could listen to it all day long! Hey, what happened to our party? I can't rap my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah, uh, the song for the Queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry, Cherry, you aren't going to believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop Songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> ah, peace and quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think of a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait. I can hear it right now! I've created a musical monster! <laughs> Cherry, wait! And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Barry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Barry Bitty City with the big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Barry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh, sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. <sighs> I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Well, you saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live. Oh, my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web, nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, uh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. 
there's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her? Oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Berry Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Berry Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance, puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance, puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And Cool Dude says, anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, <laughs> However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh, hey, in this harmony, Cherry Jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine, then. Enjoy the song, because it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never going to write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe that Cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange. But it's just 
so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. So... But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Puppy dance? No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, Barrican Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. Barrican Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barrican Bloom. <laughs> well, uh, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, the, that thing get in there? <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> you gotta get that Mary! Better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? Who made this thing? The Queen of Berryvania? The Queen of Berryvania! Your Majesty, what an honor to receive you at my humble tour bus. To whatever do I owe this uh, honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that. The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, 
this one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? <laughs> Everyone, please let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad sails down to the official royal song. <laughs> Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to tell Don to find the source of this power outage. Let's get digging! Excuse me, Strawberry. Hmm. Can you read this, please? I don't know if the most practical game for a nighttime campout is pick up sticks. <laughs> I thought it said trail mix. <laughs> I got the trail mix and the cereal, celery, soda crackers, wheat crackers, the crackers with pepper sprinkles that Cherry likes, firewood, playing cards, sunscreen, extra socks, bandages, sandwiches, hand sanitizer, trail mix. Oh, wait, I said trail mix. Mm. Um, apples, two dozen. Orange, this is just an overnight camp out. They'll have the power fixed by morning and we can move back into town. <laughs> Meanwhile, time to head for the peace and quiet been fun. Listen, I have an idea. Remember how much fun we had on our relay race and treasure hunt? Let's make the creepy woods into a challenge. We have three tents. Let's break into three groups and see which group is brave enough to camp out the longest. Ooh, I dare. I'm in. Me too. I love an adventure. Lemon, you and I can share a tent. We'll be team one. Tent Lemon Berry. Plum? Team Two Rocks. We'll be Tent Berry, Plummy, and Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, Cherry, we're Team Three. Tent Berry Tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be so very fun. We'll show them what Team Three is made of. <laughs> well, okay. It's on. That should do it, Tom Tom. Thanks for helping. Well, let's get back on the road. Mm -hmm. What is it, boy? Ah. You 
you smell something? Oh, I know what you smell. We're not far from Berry Bitty City. How about stopping by and visiting our friends there? I have a book I can return to Blueberry. Hope it's not too late to pop by. Ah, oh, mud pies. How'd we end up at this dead end? I must have turned the wrong way. It's so dark out here. I don't get it. I could see Berry Bitty City right in front of us. Then, all of a sudden, I couldn't see it anymore. Hmm. Well, there's something over there. Oh, here's a trail. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It'll be an adventure. I've got snacks. <laughs> I think it will be fabulous fun to sleep under the stars. We don't need the tent unless... Unless what? You know, if, uh, there might be, or like, if there might, if any kind of, well, if a sort of creepy kind of creature happened to be around. Now, we can't think like that or we'll never win the challenge. We're gonna be the bravest of the brave, are we not? Uh, sure, but some distraction would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hmm. Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Uh, this is the life. It is. <gasps> Want to roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there in the dark. Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. something else? Like, maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh! Yes, I suppose it could have been a creature that is not creepy. Perhaps. Well then, let's get roasting! See, <laughs> where did the marshmallows go? Hmm. Pupcake! Hannah! Take the marshmallows. They didn't take them. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Running out of juice. <sighs> but that's okay. More adventure in the dark. Snack time. a very good time. I'm actually not scared at all. Me neither. <laughs> mm. Oops. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, where's Marmalade? Marmalade! Mm -hmm. There you are. <laughs> no wandering off, please. Where are you? Down here. Where to go? I don't know. It's like it just got swallowed up. Swallowed up? You know, disappeared. Swallowed up by what? Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. But you said it. Y you must have had a reason, a, a feeling. No, it's just a way of saying went missing, you know? I didn't mean I really thought something actually, you know, ate our horseshoe. I mean, 
Who would eat a horseshoe anyway? Hmm. A creepy creature, that's who. How do you know creepy creatures don't love horseshoes? <laughs> that's so silly. I know. <laughs> did, did, did you hear that? Sounds like something eating a horseshoe. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Where is Blue Bandit? I think she's to the right of her flag. Maybe one of us should go back and guard our flag. That's not... I mean, is that really fair? Because there's only one of her and two of us. She didn't say we couldn't split up. Okay, but I don't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh-huh. Hey, Blue Bandit is making a move for our flag. Let's get hers. <laughs> go! Go! <laughs> We captured your flag! I captured your flag! Huh? Ah! It's a tie! I was sure one of you was gonna ambush me over there on your side. <laughs> that was so fun! Let's do a tiebreaker! Definitely! Hot chocolate break first! Yum! Great idea! Excuse me, Chiffon. Hot chocolate time. <laughs> to adventure. To bravery. To the wild outdoors. Woo! <sighs> well, ready for another game? Yup. Sure. Where are the flags? Hmm? Guys, guys, calm down. I gobbled our horseshoe. We gotta get out of here. It stole our flag. Right under our noses. It's too spooky out here. Someone or something is trying to sabotage our camp out. Well, let's calm down and just review the facts. Fact. Our horseshoes got eaten. Eaten? Well, they definitely disappeared. Our capture the flag flags disappeared also. Mm -hmm. And our marshmallows and roasting sticks did go missing too. Except this one. Ooh, just let that creepy creature try and take this one. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lemon. We may have a thief among us, but why should we let that spoil our camp out? Let's make it part of the challenge. Hmm. Staying out here with a creepy creature thief is challenge enough. I'm thinking, instead of which team can stay out here the longest, which team can catch the culprit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you catch a creepy creature horseshoe eater? Well, I guess it's up to your team. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! <gasps> I know how to catch it! Shh! Lemon, what do you say? You're right, Strawberry. No one is gonna stop me from having a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> You're right, Lemon. Let's capture that marshmallow thief. She's gonna creep past this. <gasps> oh, Marmalade! How did you get out of here? You're supposed to stay in the tent. What was that? Come on, we'll find out. I can't sleep. Me neither. I'm too excited. I hope we catch the creepy creature. Thirsty. Want some water? 
I'm having a hot chocolate craving. Oh, why are we whispering? <laughs> Blueberry, cherry, and raspberry have hot chocolate. They do? Three whole thermoses of it. I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> Careful not to get caught in our creature trap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Getting caught in our own trap. What is it? I forgot to give the other teams their thermoses of hot chocolate. I'm gonna go take it to them. That's nice of you. Want me to come with you? Well, who's gonna stay here with me? You have the puppies and a whole moat to guard you. It's okay, Cherry. I'll take Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Come on, boy. Walk. Go for a walk. Um, um. Drawbridge, milady. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. You can do it, Scouty. Hmm. Let's check that out. hear the whistling anymore. Now which way do we go? Ah! Let's get out of here. <sighs> Let's take a walk and look around. Listen Hello there, Cherry. The pretty sounds. Cherry! Strawberry. Hmm. Mm. Very clever. Wish we'd thought of this. Easier than digging a moat. It's the creepy creature. Girls! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think we're gonna catch something, do you? I brought you hot chocolate. <laughs> <gasps> they caught him! The creepy creature! Come on, Hannah! Careful. <laughs> Lemon! Careful of the string. Did you catch it? Maybe that's it. <gasps> Did you Where catch it? Where is it? We didn't catch anything but ourselves. <laughs> you got caught in your own trap? Yeah. What happened to you, Strawberry? I got caught in their moat. Huh. I feel short-changed. We haven't caught anything at all. <gasps> Help! Help! Help me! Oh, great galloping gooseberries! <gasps> if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like... Huckleberry! What are you doing in our creature trap? Not much. What are you doing here? I was delivering pups for adoption, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi, and then the lights all went out and, well... <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Having some juice power problems in Berry Bitty City. How about setting me free? I don't know. Have you been stealing our marshmallows? And our horseshoes? And our capture the flag flags? Huh? <laughs> okay, so here's my plan. We all pretend to go to sleep, and we leave Lemon Stick. And when the culprit steals it, we'll hear the bells and... I can 
pretend to be asleep. I'm so excited. <laughs> people, people, remember our acting lessons. Just relax your faces. What? Where? Oh, hey, girls! Wake up! The stick! The stick! My marshmallow stick! Stop, thief! Wait, listen! What do you think it is? My, I hope it's not a creature that's too... creepy. Hurry! It's getting away! It's heading for home! <laughs> Marmalade! What in the very bitty world are you doing? <gasps> Did you hear that sound? This is the source of our power problem. <laughs> Where you've been putting everything. <laughs> it was the fountain clog that bungled up the juice berry power grid. Problem solved. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, I hope this doesn't mean the end of our camp out. Of course not. We haven't roasted marshmallows yet. <laughs> is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Pupcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. <laughs> Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. 
You found it. Oh, my, my, my. Yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so... The texture. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to yeah. see if you should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, uh. that's it! Uh. This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! Whee! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah, can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Oh, I don't think we better. 
Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Cake custard. Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! 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 What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The Berry Kids tell me that... Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. What's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just 
It's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds... Weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry? You coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more! Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry, but this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. Is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was 
was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fast feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fast princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like melody and song. When I'm feeling blue, we smile That's what friends <laughs> 